Okay, welcome to week number two of the Sugar Detox. I'm gonna start the morning off with an apple ginger green smoothie. So it's got one cup of ice, half an avocado, one full green apple, ginger, compressed spinach leaves, whole fat coconut milk, one cup of water, one full lemon. Here we go. We're doing burgers again, but Nicole spiced it up with some bacon. Oh, dang, oh, dang. We're gonna make a spaghetti and meatballs, but we're gonna use spaghetti squash to make spaghetti. What are you doing, Chris Lopter? I'm scooping, I'm scooping, I'm scooping, I'm scooping. Half pork, half beef. We were missing a bunch of the ingredients for the sauce. We happen to have canned sauce, and there's no sugar in the canned sauce. I think it's okay, we're gonna just do it. Do you think this is considered cheating? No, it's improvising. Yeah! Okay, well I'm getting today started off pretty quick. I usually like to enjoy my morning outside drinking my tea. Today, I'm jumping right into the edit. So we gotta get some videos up. Nicole made me a nice smoothie. She put a lot more um, meaty ingredients in there to help with sustainability throughout the morning. So I got my morning tea with coconut oil, one for zen, one for sustainability. It's Wednesday, which makes it day 10. I didn't do a closeout yesterday. It was a long, rough day. Uh, not because of diet, just because of the day. So for lunch, I had leftovers, spaghetti, squash, and meatballs. Yeah. So I did leftovers and then I actually didn't eat dinner. So this morning I'm running off of some eggs again and I gotta head down to Santa Ana. The sun is barely up. Here we go. Kitty, you enjoying that? Okay, hold it down for me, bud. He's got it. Okay, we're in the office jamming away, Matt and I. It's one of those days where I, I'm kind of skipping lunch to just get through work. I got some briefs I gotta put together and I'm just eating some nuts. But I'm not super hungry and that's good. I figure when Nicole gets home, she'll have ideas. She usually does. Okay, Nicole came home with presents. We got a little bit lazy. We're not making food for ourselves this time. So she stopped by Zanky Chicken. They got a fresh whole chicken. Made a salad. We're eating some rice. You can eat rice in moderation. It says it. The book says it. Thanks, Nicole. If you've ever been to Zanky Chicken, then you know that this stuff is the shit. Vinegar, garlic, butter. That's it. Well, it's 10.30 at night, and I'm just finishing working. I forgot to eat dinner. Luckily, I think I have one of those little sage muffins left. Yes. Leftovers. Leftovers are key. All right, back in it. Nicole made treats. She made bacon. Bacon is a treat. Bacon's like candy. It's so nice and light in our room now that we moved into this new apartment. We've been here since January 1st. And I wake up, just ant. When the sun comes up, go time. In our old apartment, it was like a cave, so we never wanted to get up. See, if I turn this way, it gets blown out. Yeah, just epic! It's like just after nine, I've already had a productive morning. Now it's time to do some stretching and yoga and then shower before Matt gets here. Work time starts at 10. Yeah, you're a cat. Nicole's in the kitchen making his lunch. She's making something special, I can, I can sense it. I did just find out that in week one, we made a mistake. We ate sliders with sweet potato fries. So I'm kind of confused because in the cookbook, there are recipes for sweet potatoes. In a short list, which we found on the internet, it says that they are on the no foods list. I don't feel like I blew it. I still feel like I'm accomplishing the detox because I feel great, but I want to know. I'm curious. Internet land, what do you think? All right, it's lunchtime. Oh, dang. I made nachos. What? Nachos, 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 how do you feel? I just love the act of eating nachos. It's so fun. When you're eating nachos, you kind of have to have hot sauce. Very few hot sauces are edible on these guidelines. I found one in the fridge. Red ripened jalapeno, peppers, distilled vinegar, and salt. This one. Oh, I did it. I ate all the nachos. I'm so full. I'm so full now. Okay, so it's the end of day number 11. And I just have to say that I, I feel much better in general than I did before I started this diet. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about what you can and can't eat on this diet, mainly regarding different kinds of sugars like fruits or honey or alcohol. 
And the easy answer is no, you can't have any of that stuff really because what you're trying to do is to reprogram your cravings and reprogram your body to not want that stuff all the time. That's my brain dump for the day. Hope it helps. So Nicole brought us some, some tasty nuts because we're um, kind of in between meals here. If you season nuts like she does and make them really good, it's a pretty tasty treat. I don't know what she used on these, they're super good though. I think she used ghee, which is like a condensed butter. Okay, quick lunch time. Cole's wrangling up all the um, leftovers for us to have lunch. So I just got introduced to Diane Sanfilippo, the writer of this 21 day sugar diet through email from a friend of mine. So if you're watching these videos and you're enjoying them, but you have some questions, let us know what those questions are. And maybe we can send those to Diane and get her to answer them directly since she's the one who came up with the diet in the first place. That'd be super cool. So we'll do that in week number three. So if you're watching this, send us your questions and let's see if we can get them answered. Okay, so we went and had Korean barbecue with my friend Tian who was in town. We ate a ton of meat while everybody else ate all the fun stuff. We thought for a minute we could drink sake because it has zero sugar, but after about 30 minutes of research we realized that it just was not a good idea. It wasn't going to happen. That's the end of day number 12. Tomorrow is another day. Okay, it's Saturday morning. We're getting up, going to breakfast with our friend who's in town. I have a long shoot day today, so I won't be getting much footage. I'll probably take some roasted nuts with me to get through the day. That's all I got. Happy Saturday. Today we started off with this pork steak that we got from Belcampo with some eggs. That thing is super good. I am so wrecked this morning. I did a 10 hour shift holding a shoulder camera rig all day yesterday, shooting music and event stuff. I haven't done that in a while. I realized in my 30s that that definitely takes a toll on your body because I woke up this morning, everything hurt. This has nothing to do with my diet. You know, I just figured I'd talk to you guys, same tell you how things are going. We were shooting, and we were shooting at the El Rey Theater, which has a diner next to it. And I ended up getting like a cheeseburger, replaced the buns with lettuce, no condiments, and replaced the french fries with roasted vegetables. That was super good. The other part of yesterday, Nicole and I went to breakfast with our friends who were in town. We went to our favorite spot in General Jay's Bar in Silver Lake. We ordered like this scramble. I realized as I'm eating it, I'm like, man, this tastes kind of sweet. It was like a scramble, so it had scrambled eggs, mushrooms, cheese, bacon. It was American cheese. It's crazy that American cheese has sugar in it and you, you can't taste it usually because you're so used to eating sugar. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I've still uh, I've learned a lesson, which is equally as valuable as doing the detox 100%, so. It's Valentine's Day. I figured I'd make a sweet treat from a sweet treat. These sun butter brownies. Here's the ingredients list. Green tip bananas, vanilla extract, coconut oil, cocoa powder, almond butter, coconut milk, sea salt, coconut butter, and four eggs. Yeah. I got all my ingredients in the uh, mixing bowl. I'm ready to go. Looks pretty rad. This is exciting. Baking is fun. Okay, the oven's preheating. The mix is in the pan. Oh, dang. It's ready. What do you think? It's different. I like it. I think this is the best so far. First bite. You can taste the bananas in there. It's not too sweet. The texture is awesome though, ma'am. Yeah, the texture's good. Okay, well, this is a good one. Thanks, Diane. It's lunchtime, and Nicole and I are going to enjoy some movies from Redbox and a nice Valentine's meal of meats and cheeses and green apples and kombucha. Can we get wasted off of the kombucha? Oh man, we killed all the prosciutto and ate most of the cheese and we drank two things of kombucha and I think I'm, I think I'm kind of drunk. Are you talking to me? Nope, I'm not talking to you. Oh, who are you talking to? To them. Oh. She didn't know I was talking to you guys, she thought I was talking to her. Week number three, we're gonna hang out with Diane who is a writer from the 21 Day Sugar Detox. We're gonna ask some questions about things that were confusing to us, and we're gonna talk about some things that uh, Nicole and I wanna talk about with her. If you have stuff you wanna talk about, and you have questions, leave those down below in the comments, and we'll try to incorporate them into our dialogue. Well, that's the end of week number two. Solid. This detox is good. I feel good about it. Okay, see you later. Dim. Then I